Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is E. I just want to say a quick apology because I really wasn't planning to make my channel an Animal Crossing exclusive channel, but here we are. But um, I really wasn't originally planning to record this, but I thought it would be interesting um, for everyone to see this process and to learn that this is something that you could potentially do for yourself. And so today's video we are going to be making our own amiibo cards. So um, you'll see at the beginning there, I flipped through some of um, my official Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. You know, I bought those from a local video game store in like Pennsylvania. So it's not local to me, but it's local to Pennsylvania and they actually shipped those. And um, they got it to us pretty quickly. The reason I bought the Amiibo cards in the first place is because I had Limburg in my island and I didn't like Limburg at all, so I wanted some Amiibo cards to expeditiously evict him. I wound up using that Sprinkle card to evict Limburg from my island, so now Sprinkle is in and Limburg is out. But after I ordered those cards, I learned that you can make your own amiibos. I'm not gonna get super deep into the process of that because it is a little sketchy, but I will say this, it's not technically illegal to make your own amiibo cards, but it is illegal to sell them. And that's kind of why I don't wanna go through the whole process of explaining how to do it because I think most people or a lot of people would be tempted to try to sell their homemade amiibo cards. Plenty of people on Etsy sell these homemade Amiibo cards and it's not legal to do that. Um, I don't really encourage you to purchase those illegal Amiibo cards from Etsy. I don't think it's really a problem if you do buy them because uh, you're not the one who's breaking the law by buying it. But um, if you can do it yourself, uh, maybe you could try to do that. Or if you can find a local video game store which is selling Animal Crossing Amiibo cards in packs, they're not that expensive. I think we got six Amiibo cards for it's like probably $9 after shipping. Of course, that's still more expensive than this DIY version. So I'll go through it very briefly and not in super great detail. But if you have a NFC enabled Samsung smartphone, you are able to write NFC tags with your smartphone. You don't need any external hardware in order to do that. So basically the only things that you need to write NFC cards or NFC tags is your Samsung NFC enabled smartphone and the NFC tags themselves. Um, you can buy a roll of like 30 NFC tag stickers on Amazon for like less than $30. So it's less than a dollar per Amiibo card. So it is cheaper than buying official Nintendo ones, especially since the official Nintendo ones are kind of hard to find right now. They're not really making any more right now. They were originally produced for Happy Home Designer and Amiibo Festival, which were both kind of flop games. So I don't think that a lot of people were purchasing them. And so now the resale market is kind of extreme. So once you have those two things, the Samsung phone and the NFC tags, you basically just need to download the appropriate apps and files to your phone in order to write the tags. Um, there are other places like on Reddit and stuff with more detailed instructions, but that's what I did because I wanted more Amiibo cards for myself and I didn't want to pay full retail for them. And I thought it would be fun to make my own. So the first one I did here is Gale. I have almost 30 NFC tag stickers to make into Amiibo cards. So in this video, I will do three and I'll show you two other ones that I did before recording this. So for my Gale DIY Amiibo card, um, I don't want to copy exactly what her real Amiibo card looks like. So I gave her a little green checked background, a little cup of tea, um, and I drew her sitting down. These Amiibo cards, the official Nintendo version has some information on them, like a dice roll value. Um, Cause like I said, these cards can be used for Nintendo's Amiibo Festival game, um, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, blah, blah. The game was a total flop. Nobody cares for it. It's like Mario Party, but without the mini games. So basically Mario Party without any of the fun. So um, yeah, but if you apparently use these Amiibo cards with Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, the 
dice value on the card will determine how many spaces your character moves in that game. But I just put what villager type, what gender, what species, and what their birthday is on the card. Because that's really the only information that I care about. Basically, I just traced the actual sprinkle amiibo card on a piece of paper and then drew my fan art or whatever you want to call it onto the card and then I'll show later in the video how I took it from this flimsy sketchbook paper and turned it into a little bit thicker and sturdier. So the next one I did after Gail was Stitches um, and he is super cute. I, like I said, made almost 30 of these for myself, um, so I didn't necessarily choose the characters that maybe most people would have, um, but Stitches is popular and I did choose to create him. Um, if you want to use amiibo cards in your Animal Crossing game, like you may be thinking what's the point of making all these for your New Horizons? island it's not that useful and you're right it's mostly just for fun that I made these you can use these amiibo cards also in new leaf so if you have new leaf for the 3ds you can use amiibo cards you can use them in much the same way as you do in new horizons to get new villagers to move into your town so that is something you can do if you have a 3ds which has amiibo capability uh, the newer 3ds's do the older ones you have to buy a attachment basically to scan amiibo cards in, but newer 3DSs have that built-in capability. But in New Horizons, um, you can take your amiibos to Harv's Island to take photos with them. So if you just want to arrange a cute photo op with your favorite villagers, you can. Um, and you can call over um, any resident that you have in your island as well so you don't have to have their amiibo card if they are a resident on your island you can call them over to take photos too it's not that fun because you can't actually talk to the characters there all you can do is take their photo they're basically like little creepy voodoo dolls that you can make to sit or stand where you want and also make certain facial expressions so Whatever, but if you've seen anybody online posting cute pictures with like six villagers all in like a little scene together, it's probably a photo they took on Harv's Island. And once they're there, you can dress them all up in the same outfits and create your own little scene, um, which is pretty cute. But aside from Harv's Island, you can actually get some more meaningful functionality out of these amiibo cards. So if you have the campsite set up on your island, you can use the amiibo cards to invite the villagers to your campsite. So you've probably seen the tutorials online of how to move out villagers you dislike and move in the villagers you do like with amiibo cards. And you do that primarily by inviting them to the campsite. But you don't have to invite them to come live on your island if you invite them to your campsite. You can just invite them to your campsite to visit and if you do that, there's a good chance they'll give you a DIY recipe that you don't already have because they will request that you give them uh, a souvenir from your island and they will request that you make it yourself. And if you do not already have the recipe for the item that they request from you, they will give you the recipe for it. So you can use these amiibo cards not only to get, you know, these little fellas to come take pictures with you at Harp's Island and they're more useful than just inviting them to your village. You can use them to basically farm DIY recipes. For Stitch's amiibo card, I decided to give him like a rainbow background because he's kind of rainbow colored, but he's a little bit more saturated and the background I gave him is more pastel. So it's still pretty busy, but I think it looks really cute. And for his information, he is a lazy villager, so I put that on there along with his little symbol to signify that he is a bear. And to put his name on here, I did it in like a little stitch pattern. If you do decide to make these amiibo cards for yourself, 
please keep in mind that not all NFC tags will work. So the official NFC tag type that you need is called NTAG215. Those are the ones that are compatible with Amiibo. So NTAG215 is the one that you'll need. You can't just order any NFC tag type. So that is just a little tip so you don't waste your money on something that will not work. The last Amiibo card that I'm going to make for this video is Lily. She's a really popular villager along with Stitches. Um, I actually have my little stack of stickers and I just pick them at random. So um, I'm probably going to do a couple more videos of me making Amiibo cards because like I said, I made almost 30 stickers. And by the end of this video, there will only be five cards. So I'm not going to make every single card I make on screen, but I'll share a couple more with you maybe in a later video, um, just to share with you the process of it because it is really fun and I think they turn out really cute. I did them in the original Animal Crossing style. I didn't try to do these in my own style like in my previous Drawing Villagers as People video. So these are pretty much, I drew them as they appear in the game, but nevertheless, they still look like I did them because um, it's like no matter what, you draw even if you draw it in the same style as something else, it's still evident that you did it because there's just something about there's just something about the way that I draw, there's something about the way that you draw that it'll make it look unique to you. So I really like that about it, this kind of handmade look. So for Lily's background, you can see I drew her standing on a lily pad. I thought that would be really cute because it's her namesake. And um, it's interesting because I'm not sure if in New Horizons they have all the same classic clothes that appeared in previous Animal Crossing games. So for example, my favorite villager, Daisy, is typically seen wearing a kitty tee, um, which is a shirt that's appeared since the original Animal Crossing game for the GameCube. But so far in New Horizons, it doesn't seem like the kitty tee is an item in the game. I may be wrong. I may have to wait until summer and see if the Able Sisters start stocking more summery clothes. Uh, to start selling just regular t-shirts, but it doesn't really seem like that's something that they sell. So a lot of like the official Amiibo art cards um, feature t-shirts that the animals don't wear in the game. So if you load up Gale in your game, for example, um, she by default is not wearing that heart t-shirt. She's wearing like a little lace-up dress. It's pretty cute actually. And likewise, I don't think Stitches was wearing that t-shirt with the stars on it. He's wearing something else. But Lily, I drew her wearing the outfit that she appears in New Horizons to be wearing just because I really like this little pineapple dress on her and I think it looks really cute. And that's what's kind of fun about this is I can choose what to put these characters in. They don't have to wear what's on their original Amiibo card. And for Lily's information, I put that she is a normal frog. I put her birthday on there as well. All right, and so I cut each of these out according to the line I drew around them. And I'm going to use this um, duck brand tape, which I use for scrapbooking and stuff like that to tape this onto a piece of cardstock paper. If you just want to use a glue stick, that would work as well, but I like these because they don't have to dry and they are pretty sticky and work really well. So I just stuck each of these 
cards onto a piece of cardstock and then cut them off of the cardstock. All right, now that they are free from their cardstock, I have here the NFC stickers. You see, when I wrote these originally with my phone, I went ahead and wrote the character's name on the back, and then I just stick it to the back. So that is where you will scan them on your Switch to get them to appear in your game. And you can see they kind of have this cool silvery side that has the information on it. And here is Genji. I already finished his card, so you can see where I put the amiibo symbol on the back so I knew where to scan it, and I gave them their own scrapbook paper backer card. So these are the patterns of scrapbook paper I picked out for each of these characters. So just like I did with the cardstock, I'm going to tape the now thicker card with the cardstock and the sticker on it onto the scrapbook paper, and this will kind of seal in the NFC tag sticker. And you don't have to worry about whether or not it will still function. The NFC tags are able to be read through thick material, basically. So when I wrote these from my phone, I was able to get them to write through my OtterBox phone case. So it doesn't have to be like a bare NFC tag against the Amiibo reader. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. So here I am making new amiibo symbols to tape onto the back of the cards to signify where to scan them and I basically tried to copy the symbol as it appears on the back of the amiibo cards. I didn't write amiibo under it though, I just drew the symbol and taped it onto the back of the card. And now what I'm going to do is basically try to laminate them. Um, this isn't exactly precise and I wouldn't say that this is the best method for this. If you have a laminator or if you have access to a laminator, that's probably the better thing to do. But I don't have access to that and we're all kind of in quarantine right now so it's not really the best time to go out and try to buy supplies. And it's a lot more fun if you just do this stuff with what you have on hand at home. So I have packing tape and that's what I use to protect my drawings. So once I put the tape down, I trimmed it off and that's basically the Amiibo card complete. So here are Stitches and Lily and Gale, and then this is my Vesta and Genji cards, which I made the other day. So here I'm going to show you them in action. So here's Lily, Lily's card, and if I hold it up to my Switch, you'll see she pops right in. And this is on Harv's Island. Here's Gale, and there she is. The other thing is if you scan these amiibo cards into Harv's Island, he will make it so you can purchase a poster of these villagers from the Nook shop. So you are able to get these posters in your home. And that's basically it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and have a great day. Bye-bye.